goes there. Nope. Oh man, the undo is so nice in this. They just really knocked it out of the ballpark with the building in this game. everybody and welcome to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming. Uh, before this episode starts in earnest, um, I just want to give you a fair warning that this is going to be a very long episode. And so if you do decide to watch the whole thing, you know, treat it more like a live stream. I mean, it's going to be that long. Uh, but basically it's a building episode where um, I totally renovated the house. It's still, you know, the same basic design in terms of, um, you know, it being a, a villa style house with a courtyard and all that. But uh, I upgraded it all to, you know, newer and nicer material and also added an, uh, a second floor and a little tower. And um, so if you don't care about that or if you don't want to watch a probably what's going to be close to two and a half to three hour sesh, um, then, you know, feel free to, to just skip this video and um, continue on, you know, with the, with the, uh, the questing videos, uh, which will, of course, keep coming. Um, if you want to see a sneak preview of what the house looks like, um, what I'm going to do here is uh, in a moment, I'll, I'll give a quick tour of it. If you plan on watching this video and you want to see me do the whole thing from start to finish, uh, including, you know, the mistakes I made and the thought processes and all that, then, of course, you'll want to skip this next part and then go to the start of the video proper. Okay, so with that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and pause for just a couple moments here, and then I'll give a quick tour of the current condition of the house for those who don't want to watch uh, the whole build episode. Okay, so for the rest of you, um, this is actually a good uh, a good time here because it's just about dark and that will allow us to see, you know, kind of how uh, the house is lit. And I haven't actually even seen the full thing myself because I, I added a bunch of lights uh, during the day uh, in this in-game day. So I haven't actually seen it in the dark yet myself. Uh, but as you can see, you know, now that it's pretty much fully dark, um, there's a lot, lot of illumination in this place. So what I'll do here is I'll just kind of show you what it looks like at night and then I'll, I'll sleep and bring it to the morning so you can see everything in the daylight. But yeah, so um, the, the front of the house is lit up here. I can see already by looking at this, though, that I should probably add some lights uh, to the second floor as well. Um, just so we, you know, it kind of pops a little bit better because right now it's all in shadow. So that's something we'll have to do. Uh, but yeah, um, so I, again, the same basic design, but much, much improved. So as you can see on the outer porch, I replaced what was there before with a flint stone, a little flint stone wall. Um, these columns here are the city stone wall block, I think they are. Um, and uh, this wood that I'm standing on is the refined wood before we had the, you know, the crude wood there. I replaced this with flint stone. Um, used, as you can see, the, the half-timbered blocks for the main, um, uh, you know, design of, of the building itself, um, and then added some flintstone columns in. I just really like the flintstone in this game, you know, to kind of accentuate the corners and, and the door posts and everything uh, in, like that. Um, so, oh, and then, of course, as you can see, we uh, I, I changed it up to the clay tile uh, roof. So yeah, this is basically what it looks like on the outside. But again, we'll take a, a look at it in the morning as well. Uh, so this is how light it is at nighttime on the inside. It's very light here in the courtyard because uh, I have torches up. And uh, we got decent light inside now too in the entryways. I've got uh, chandeliers and candles uh, in each one of the entryways. So this is pretty pretty decently lit up. Um, this, this one's a little bit different, of course, because we have the second floor there. Um, I definitely need to get some more light in the, in the corners, but I, I'm not, uh, I'm not done yet. Of course, I haven't really spent any time at all, uh, per se, uh, on the interior of the house. I'm mostly focused, uh, on the exterior of the house. So that will be coming up in a, in another episode. Um, yeah, so this is what the, the second floor looks like from the courtyard. we got a little balcony there, uh, with some railing. And then, you know, we got a tower up above with, um, you know, with a, a, a brazier 
and then I, I you know I, I wanted like a weather vane to put at the very top of it, but the game doesn't have that. The closest thing I could come up with was that standing uh, torch, so that's up at the very top. Okay, so yeah, that's what it looks like at nighttime. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep, and then we'll come back during the day, and I'll show you what it looks like in the day. Okay, so it is uh, now mostly light outside, and that's what the front uh, of the building looks like uh, during the daytime. So we have like a little, a very small balcony around the top of the, the second floor there with some copper rails and uh, some half-timbered blocks and so forth to, uh, you know, trim it out. And um, I also use the fancier windows on the second floor, uh, whereas these windows are the more, you know, uh, traditional rectangular ones there. Uh, like I said, here again, I haven't done anything uh, to the house uh, internally yet, or in interior-wise, I should say. Um, but I think it looks pretty cool uh, from a distance with how it's come together. Um, just really liking, uh, just really lo loving, actually, the building in this game. It's just amazing. Um, I actually am missing a block down there. How in the hell did that happen? Okay, I'll have to fix that. There should be another um, block coming across here, so I'll fix that later. Anyway, the main entryway has the double doors, which are not only just double doors, but they're also quite a bit larger, too. They're taller, you know, than, the, than these uh, side doors are. And let's go take a quick look upstairs. Again, there's nothing up here yet, uh, but this is going to, going to be my bedroom uh, where we'll set set everything up and, you know, get all comfy up here. And um, we have, like, this, this little balcony, too, that, of course, that looks out over the courtyard. All right, so that's pretty much it um for the house and so like i said if, if this is all you wanted to see and you want to get back into the action then just you know go ahead and catch the next episode for the rest of you let's go ahead and get started with this very long <laughs> episode but i hope you guys enjoy welcome back everybody to enshrouded i'm an old guy gaming and in this episode uh, we are going to work on the house more so this is going to be a building episode it's probably going to be long and so you yeah you, you've been warned <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, there's a, there's there's two specific things that I want to do uh, in this building episode. I want to upgrade the building itself to nicer materials, and I want to let's see where yeah this in this east end of the house I want to build a uh, an upper floor, um, and kind of almost like a, a tower idea. I'm not planning on doing that, um, at least not at this point, on the other uh, three sides of the house, but on the east side. And then, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my bedroom up to that upper area of the floor and move the hunter into her into here. And this will be her corner. And um, then we'll have all of the craftsmen in all four corners, except for the blacksmith who will remain pretty much where he is just because, you know, he he's doing all of his work outside-ish. Uh, and that's at least that's how we're role playing it. Um, okay, so one thing to get you updated on, I went ahead and made myself a medium sized backpack uh, off camera, which gave me another row down here. Uh, so that's cool. If, if for anybody who maybe doesn't know that uh, or how to do it, you can do that free from the hunter with these resources. Uh, so we got that done, and I think I think that's pretty much it uh, to get you updated on. We still have this, a crucial investigation quest, which we will, the plan will be to do that in the next episode, and that will completely clear our quest log, and then we can start a whole new round of quests, um, you know, by talking to our NPCs and whatever else, because it looks like there's at least two of them that have something for us. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and get our building hammer. We're going to need that, of course. Um, and we're just going to put that right in slot number five and it'll stay there for the whole episode. And then what I want to do is, um, let's look in here. I want to make the nicer wood, refined wood, and we'll probably replace at least our flooring with, with this. Um, okay. So we're going to need, um, wood planks. Oh, I, I have got just an unbelievable amount of wood planks, by the way, um, because most of them are in here. See, we have, like, yeah, this thing is almost jam-packed full. In fact, let's just, um, 
let's pull a few of those out of here and just keep them in our inventory for the moment. Um, okay, so I'm just going to make that many of those for now. And one thing I'm not sure about is can we replace a block in place without having to remove the old one like you can in like Ark Survival Evolved, for example. Um, so let's go into here. Um, and then I want to go to floor. Okay, so it looks like, what if I just do this? No, I have to remove the old one first and put the new one down. Whoops. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. These are, we want foundations. Okay, let's go here, hold down Alt. Yeah, we want foundations, not not ceilings. Right, okay, so let's remove that and put that in its place. That, hmm. That doesn't really look that much better, to be honest with you. I mean, it's a little better, but it still kind of looks like weather-worn splinter causing wood. Um. All right, what does it look like as a wall? Let's try that. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hmm. I, I have to say, that's that still kind of looks like crap. This is supposed to be a refined wood block, but I'm not impressed. <laughs> I really am not impressed. Um, what else could put, we could put, I don't potentially use for a floor? I kind of don't really want to use stone for a floor. I mean, we could. Um, we could. Mm. I'm thinking, you know, I th I want stone and brick, the harder materials to be stuff that we would use like for the walls and the columns, not so much for the floor. What would this look like as a floor? This um, half timbered business. Oh man, you know what? I think I turned all my clay into bricks. We have to go out and get some clay, which we can do. It's not a big deal. Yeah, that that doesn't look that good. It it doesn't look very refined to me. That's just the normal. Yeah, that's probably not going to look so good either. The shroud wood block kind of looks like the refined, but grayer in color. Okay, so the only other thing that might work is this, but I'm going to have to go get some clay unless I have some still in here. Nope, I've turned every. Yeah, I've turned everything into brick. Okay, I'm going to cut the camera. Uh, quickly go out and get some clay and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, I got myself a couple of stacks of clay. And I'm also uh, just grabbing some flintstone here, too. If you didn't already know this, um, right by the our house here uh, in the starting area, there's a pretty decent little flintstone deposit. Um, and so, you know, whenever I need Flintstone, it's just right on the edge of this little enshrouded area. Um, and there's the house there. So yeah, if, if you guys didn't know that, uh, there's a, a decent sized Flintstone deposit. Um, we got, we managed to get 76 out of there and there's more I could grab, but let's just, let's just go with 76 for now. And we'll see how far that gets us. Oi! Oi! Uh, okay. Let's go over here. And I want to put all of this in here for now. Next up can go in there. Nope. Open that one. There we go. That can go in there and the cloth can go in here. All right. So, um, let's make some of these real quick uh, just to see what they look like um, so we want to 
Switch to this. Uh, no, switch to this. There we go. And switch to foundation. Oh yeah, remove that first. Do we have to, uh, I guess we need more. Okay, hold on. Yoo-hoo! Uh, no. Go back to here. Press tap. There we go. Okay. Hmm. That's, that's a little cleaner. I'm not so sure, though, that I'm crazy about the... Oh, okay, hold on a sec. Make more of those. I don't know why. Why is this board crooked? If it wasn't for that, I'd probably be okay with this. It definitely looks better than this. I mean, it's still. It still is. It's too rough. You know. In a, in a real-world situation, you'd want that to be sanded down some more because otherwise you're going to get slivers in your feet. I just don't like this little crooked board there. That just that doesn't look right. <sighs> All right, let's try... Is there any way to change that so it doesn't look that way? Like, can I rotate this? Uh, no. Can, uh, rotate R. No, I, that doesn't appear to work on something like this. Okay, well. Before we commit. Let's look in here again. Man, that used a ton of clay, too. We don't like the refined wood. We... This does not look like it would make an ideal floor, but I just want to take a quick look at it anyways. Um, and then we got the city wall block. And what was the other stone block that we had? Copper, fired bricks, metal, roughly cut stone block. Yeah, that... Yeah, that doesn't look feasible either. Let's um let's just see what the flintstone block looks like for a floor. What in the hell did I just do? Okay, hold on. Remove that. Replace it with this. You know, that's not bad, um, actually. I kind of like that. Uh, why don't we, uh, did I also make the rough flintstone? Let's make one of these two, uh, one of these city wall blocks, or a couple of them anyways. Let's just see what that looks like. That's that's not terrible, except for that it's got the dirt in the texture. So I think out of of these two, I like this better. We might as well try the rough a cut stone block too, because you know the floor part of it looks a little bit different than the vertical part of it. Roughly cut stone block. Yeah, that's what we originally had oh that requires rubble oh so i was wondering what rubble was used for um and it's starting to get dark okay let's put this one here
All right, we need to we need to sleep. Wait till morning so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the verdict. I think um, we haven't tried a brick. Let's try a brick. Fired bricks block. Um, that might be cool for you know certain decorations. I don't want metal. I don't want mycelium. I mean, we could we could try a tarred block. That's probably not going to give us enough. Just to see what it looks like, and we could try a shroud wood too. Um, and then let's try some some bricks. All right, so um, bup, 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 bup. I definitely do not like this for the floor. I wouldn't mind this if it didn't have dirt in it, but it has dirt in it. So, so the flintstone floor is what I like the most. I don't like it per se for a floor, but of the options we've seen so far, um, it's it's my first choice. Okay, so let's go to here uh, can we just make this a a ceiling piece just so we can see what it looks like oh yeah no no that not gonna do that okay what about the brick That's not bad either, actually. I just, I don't know, I just feel like we should have wood floors, though. It's just more cozy. What we could do, though, is replace this stone out in the courtyard, maybe with either flint stone or maybe this stone. Th this isn't too bad for the courtyard just because, you know, it's outside, so it's expected to have a little bit of dirt on it, I would think. Um, did we make did I make one other thing too? Roughly cut city wall block. Refined rough shroud. Yeah, we didn't actually try shroud. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, we'll put that over here. Okay, wait, where is it at? Tard Shroud. Okay, yeah. Eh. No. No, I don't think so. Not a fan. Not for a floor, anyway. Okay, so, shoot. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> um... For the floor inside the house, should we do brick or flintstone or this? Uh, this was the timbered block texture. Let me think about that for a second. But what I do think I want to do is turn this courtyard into flintstone because i really like the look at that flintstone i think it looks nice i really do so um let's go and replace this with a brick i mean you know this isn't wood right but i think it is you know looks the nicest for an interior floor so we might end up doing that, but um, let's switch to flintstone here. Rough flintstone block. And we're going to replace all of these. Uh, why aren't you giving me a remove option? There we go. Are we out? Uh, we yeah, we need to make more. Hey. 
I can tell I'm going to have some mining sessions. <laughs> Off-camera mining sessions here. Oh, wait a second. Am I... Have I been putting f f roof pieces here? I mean, that works. I, there's no... I think it uses a little less resources. Okay. Again, it's not giving me the remove option. Oh, there we go. That's weird. Fortunately, this game doesn't have SI, so we don't have to worry about anything collapsing. Yeah, I like that. I really do. I think the Flintstone looks nice. It's... I think it's because it's got different colors in it, you know, and it's, it's not terribly rough. It's not, it, it's a little, it's better than what was there before. Put it that way. Okay. So that we're going to do that for the, for the courtyard. Um, now let's see what we might want to do for the pillars. Let's look at Flintstone itself first. And we want to go here. What we could do... I'm just trying to decide if I want to actually switch to the thicker pillars. Let's just... Put a couple down and see how we feel about that. I guess it will go there, right? No. Hold on. There. Yeah, I remember the last time I messed with this. The reason I didn't like the thick ones is because they stick up too far. Um, unless there's some way we can sink them down a little bit. Um, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, remove that. It, uh, yeah, I don't see a way to, it's not letting me sink it down into the ground. Shift forward, shift back. What if we turn snapping off? No, it does, it just doesn't want to go down low. Okay, well, in that case... Let's go back then to the two meters and to this column. So that's what we had there originally. Hey. That looks so much nicer in terms of how it, you know, lines up with the, the roof there. Plus, it's just a little more spacious, too, in terms of just getting through it. Okay, so that's what the Flintstone pillars look like. Um, let's try a different material. Let's try the city wall block. That's pretty, pretty clean looking, actually. I, I got to be honest with you, though. I still think I like the Flintstone more. Okay, let's try... What's this? Roughly cut stone block. I can already tell you I'm probably not going to like this as much, but... Yeah. Yeah, I definitely do not like that as much as the Flintstone. Okay, what about tarred wood? No, I can already tell you I'm not going to like that. What about shroud wood? Hmm. That's not terrible, but I, st I, I still think I want these to be some kind of stone. Um, This is what brick would look like. So that's not bad, except for that I'm probably going to make the floor out of brick. At least the at least the ground floor. 
So I don't want to, and I'm very likely going to make the roof tiles out of brick, so I don't want to overdo it on the brick. We are, uh, did we try rough stone block? Ready? Oh no, that's what's there now. Okay. Take that back out. Timber, shroud, roughly cut, city wall we tried. We have flintstone. What, uh, just out of curiosity, what does this look like? That looks absolutely atrocious. Why do they call this refined wood? It looks like shit. <laughs> Not my idea of refined wood. Let's try the half timbered block. That's pretty clean looking. But yep, yeah, I think once again Flintstone wins out. Um We could try maybe this texture here for the for the floor and then Flintstone for the columns, but I don't know. I I'm, I'm I'm just digging the Flintstone. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I'm going to turn all of these columns into flintstone, and I'm probably going to have to go mine some more. So once I get that done, I'll bring you guys back, and then we'll... Uh, no, actually, here's here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to convert the entire ground floor to brick, which means I'm going to have to go do a shit ton of mining. And I'm going to change these blocks all to flintstone. And when I'm done with that, then I'll bring you back, and then we'll, start deci we'll decide what we're going to do about the walls in the roof. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I have uh, decided to make some more kilns um, because we're going to really have to ramp up production. I mean, I, I I ran out of brick before I could even finish the entryway here. <laughs> um, so we're going to do that. And the other thing I'm going to look at doing as well is um, we're going to need a bunch of wood. Um, let's save one stack of wood is maybe doing a, a temporary respec um, so that we can yeah so that just needs wood and clay so let's put yeah okay cool so we got a full stack there and why don't we split you um, yeah, what I was saying is doing like a, a temporary respec and put some skills into to the mining stuff. Because I don't think, as far as I know, I don't think there's any penalty for respecking. I think you can do it as many times as you want for free, I think. Put that stack. Okay, so that'll quadruple our brick production. Um, we'll put those items in there. And I'm going to probably have to go cut some wood, too. So all the more reason why I think it makes sense for us to do a respec. And I have a couple more flax flowers. Let's put those. Yeah, let's put those in there. Now, the other thing I could do also, and I don't think this will be a problem is instead of using brick foundations uh, or, or, you know, or maybe what we do is we use brick foundations along the perimeter, but we use brick flooring in the house because it uses less materials. So, yeah, I think, I think that's what we'll do. Kind of makes sense to do that. So everything along the perimeter will be a, a full foundation, but then everything inside... Well, you know, we could even probably get away with just doing... Because these are foundations here, which I'll probably change to something nicer, too. But, yeah, if, if, we go, if we go with roof pieces instead of foundations, it'll save us some material. And I, I don't think that's going to cause us any trouble. All right, let's go into here and ask the flame... Oh, it does cost runes, but I mean, 10 runes, big deal. I wonder, though, if it costs more and more each time you do it. I guess we're going to find out. 
Okay, let's reset our skill points. If I wanted to do that again... Nope, it's still only 10. Nice. Okay, that's, that's pretty damn cheap. I'll take it. All right, so I want to... Pickaxe deals 30% more damage against stone objects, including resource veins. We want that. Um, when you mine resources, you have a 10% chance to get one additional resource. We want that. All tools lose durability 50% slower. We want that. Felling axes do 30% more damage against wooden objects, including trees. Okay. Backstab. So, yeah, it looks like that's those are all the mining ones. Um, okay, so now let's just... Let's actually go up the survivor tree to get back to dessert stomachs because that gives us the four slots. So endurance, runner, double jump, um, endurance, wanderlust, metabolism, sweet tooth, dexterity, dessert stomach, and endurance. Okay, um, that's time in the shroud. We'll do rebound. 30% chance to spawn a stamina orm when defeating an enemy with a bow. Um, what's this? That's inner fires. Okay, let's hold off on that. Because remember, this I'm not going to keep this build. I'm just going to do it while we're building the house. And then I'll kind of go back to what we had before. But, you know, we, we still might get into combat. We probably will. So let's just go up the ranger tree here. What was this, eagle eye? No, I actually skipped that one. I didn't think it was all that great. I mean, I'm sure it's useful, but... Yeah, let's do all of these here. Headshot damage. I didn't take bee sting, but I definitely took multi-shot. Oh, that's it. We're out of points. Okay. Well, that should be enough to tide us because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be getting into any serious combat, you know, like boss fights or anything with this uh with this spec. Can I get that? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that will should help us tremendously uh increase our production here. Um and the fact, you know, that our tools are going to be more durable so I can stay out longer and not have to come back to repair every time I turn around. That's great. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to just go back out and mine clay like there's no tomorrow and probably wood too and just make clay bricks like crazy. But like I said, I think what I'm going to do is um, instead of doing foundations, we're just going to do roof pieces because why not? You know, it's just going to save us materials if we if we put this down here and go here okay hold on I need I need to get some let's get some bricks And then I want to make fired brick blocks, as many of those as we can. <clears throat> okay, so now, if we... Where does it tell me how much... Okay, yeah, so it's going to... It's if, if I just pop this in here as a foundation, it's going to take 248 brick. But if we pop it in as a ceiling, it's only 64, like... Yeah, that's huge, man. That's like we can do four four times as much, cover four times as much area. So that's, I think, what we're going to do. And also, too, if we just, if we just remove that. Uh, wait, what? Oh. I still... I still don't think that's right. We want it to go right there. 
Good. Because even this will get us some of our materials back. And we should have enough to fill that spot in too. Cool. Okay, so yep, I will um, bring you guys back here in just a little bit. I didn't quite... You know what, though? I, I actually like that little border right there. I'll... Yeah, I do like that. So, okay, hold on. If we if we do this... I think we have to hold it in one. Well, not that far. Hold it in there. No? How do I get that to show the border? I don't know how I did that. Is it not doing it because the wall's there? Here, let's sleep. Okay, let's take that back out. If I hold it back to there, it's obviously not right. And I don't have snapping on. So we just did that. If I bump it just one thingy there, then it just doesn't do that. I don't know. So I don't know how that border... is showing there. I, I really like it, but I don't know how to, to make it work that way. Is it a... Okay, so when I put this in here... If I... If I do this, it's, it's kind of like overlapping. But, yeah, but then it's... Okay, right. It's going to leave a gap there. Boy, I don't know. If you guys know in the comments how I managed to get that border there to show, I'd really like to know because that would look really cool if we could do that. I don't think it's a rotation thing. Um, I mean, when I press R, it doesn't do anything anyways. So, yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. If, if I take it, if I remove it and then put it back in again, it shows up again. <laughs> what the hell, man? Um, what if we do it over here? No. Yeah, I, I don't know how I did that. I kind of don't like it, though, because it's inconsistent with everything else now. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, well, can't do anything about it. Um, so I will bring you guys back uh, when we get the brick floor finished. All right, guys, we are back and I have the floor uh, completely changed over to brick. I have a couple of problem spots, though. Um, there's this spot here. And there is this spot here. And, and, and well, yeah, we still have some areas doing this little thing. So I, I wish I could do this all the way around because I, I, I like the way that that looks, but I can't figure that out. So let's see if we can troubleshoot what's going on with this first. Um, so we're going to go here. And why don't we... Let's go back down to... F f um, yeah, four meter... Let's remove that wall altogether and remove that and remove that. Okay, so there's nothing there. Um, we need to go to brick. There, okay. So, yeah, I'm not sure what was going on with that, but that fixed that. Okay, I'm not going to replace that wall because we're going to actually work on the walls next. So, same thing with this now. Um, 
if we completely remove that and completely remove that, there's nothing there. And then put this one back in and that one back in. Okay, yeah, I, I'm not sure what I was doing wrong before, but that fixes that issue. I did decide to leave the bathroom floor a wood floor, just because I think it's more cozy that way. Um, so there we go with that. And then I've got, I got all these pillars upgraded to, to Flintstone. So the next thing I want to do is I want to figure out what we're going to do for, for our main walls, um, which will then also affect these half walls here too. Um, so let's grab some blocks here. Um, I don't think I want shroud wood just because it's darker. Uh, we'll definitely take a look at half timbered. Um, I'm really not wanting necessarily to do stone walls because I want stone to be like trim. So let's look at the, really that just gives us kind of two options and the refined wood or the half timbered because it's already the rough wood. I mean, let I guess we could look at the shroud and the tarred too, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to want to use those. Um, I wish that, um, you know, since we've discovered, let me look at this. There's only the one recipe there. Since we've discovered, um, hardwood, that didn't seem to unlock anything for us. If we go to refined wood block, see, um, I've, I've cut a lot of hardwood. But, you know, putting that in your inventory doesn't seem to uncover any new blocks for some reason. So I don't know why. Uh, anyway, okay, so let's, um, you know, maybe maybe there's something going on with the wall here, too, that's causing this that we, we can discover. So what I want to do is let's start with timbered wall. And we need... To go to the main wall here. All right, so if we take that wall out and put that in. Oh, hold on. Uh, that's kind of weird. Let's just completely remove all the walls for the moment. I'm just looking at this brick situation here too. Oh, is it because did I hold these out too far? Yeah, I think that's what it is. But knowing that that's what it is... Right, because it leaves a little gap here, so it forces the border. That's interesting. Hmm, okay. I, You know, that just wasn't apparent to me because I had, had the wall there. Let's pick that door up. Uh, as far as this stone goes out here, let's, um, city wall block. I, I kind of liked the city wall block a little bit, but I did not like the roughly cut stone, unless it was the other way around. I don't know. Uh, do we not have any more? Yeah, we have some more flint stone too. I'm not going to use brick because brick is what the floor itself is. But that explains what's going on here. And if we wanted to, I, it just, you know, this is cool because it adds a little more flavor to everything, right? If we wanted to, we could potentially hold everything out to get that to work right. Okay. Um, 
Well, here, let's deal with this first, then. We want to go here and here. And I want to choose... I think rough stone block is just... what we've been using all along. So let's see, that's the city block. Hey. Uh, what the hell's going on here? Why is it doing that? Okay, let's remove that completely. And then put that in there, and that gives us our little border. You know what, though? It's not going to work here because that's where the doorway is and we would see the gap. So we can't have the border there. That's... All right, that's okay, I guess. Um, or we could do Flintstone again. I just really like the Flintstone. Okay. We also have, um, roughly cut stone block. Let's just look at it. It's got to be held back a little bit. terrible. I like the border that it puts around it. In fact, for this, I almost like this better than the other. But let's try, um, let's go ahead and try Flintstone. And we want ceiling. We don't need foundations there. I still, I, I still like this the most, I think. Yeah, I still like that the most. So, so I think we're going to make all four of the entryways on all four sides of the house. The Flintstone. Maybe we could look at using one of the other stone blocks, you know, for the rail along here. But I don't want to get into that right now. I want to, I want to keep working on, on the house proper, and then I can deal with that stuff later. Okay, so... Let's go here, and we want to go to walls. Uh, let's do a doorway first, and then I want... It'd be kind of cool if we made the doorway out of stone. That would be the Flintstone... That's just the rough stone. Shroud wood, refined wood, half-tempered brick. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's go with the half-tempered first. All right, and then we'll just make this a normal wall. Am I? Yeah. Uh, I got snapping on.
I think I need to turn it off because it's pushing it to... There we go. Too far back. My doorway is too low. It needs to be... Like that. Okay, so there's the half-timbered. It's not bad. Definitely has that, you know, medieval fantasy type flavor to it. But let's go over to this side now and let's try a, one or two other options before we commit. So, um, really, actually, probably um, Probably the refined is really the only other option I would consider. I just don't really like those other those other options so much. Okay, let's pick this up for now. It doesn't look terrible for a wall. But this has more flavor to it, right? Let's make a couple yeah. of doors. Let me craft you something. Okay, um copper door. I think I'm I like the idea of a polished wooden door. And maybe even a double door at that. So we need nails and tar. Hey! Let's craft some oh, nails yes. here. And we make tar in here, I believe. I haven't actually had to make that yet. I've just found it. So we need wood logs and dirt. Uh, oh, we need more wood logs than what we have in there. So let's split that stack. Okay, so we'll make up some tar. It'll make 20, but it's going to take about six minutes. We have enough to make one door, though. Look what I have to offer. So if we go to here and we make one of those. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's put the one here, but I'm sort of think too that we might want to do double doors here. I think that might look nice. Um, at least maybe this is what I consider our main entrance. Of course, with the bathroom here, that's kind of I don't know. That's kind of jank. Let's just stick this door here. Uh. Does it go there or there? That looks really nice, actually. I like that. I'm just trying to decide if... Well, see, a double door's not going to work over here anyway. Because of the bathroom. So maybe we don't consider that our main entrance. Maybe we consider this our main entrance and do a double door here. But that that looks good. I I really actually like that. Let's um let's try the door over here. Uh Yeah, not not as nice. So yeah, I think we're going to go with the half timbered blocks for the walls. It just looks really good, especially with this door. I think. Um, all right. So now that we've figured that out, uh, we got quite a few of the half timbered blocks too, which is good. Um, let's go ahead and remove that. 
Put that wall in. Good. I like he. I like he. Yeah, that looks really nice. Okay. What I'm going to do then, guys, is I'm going to go around the house and change everything to half-timbered. And then when I'm done with that, I'll be back. All right, guys, um, I'm back, and I want to try something here. So I've got uh, these windows in here that the carpenter can make, and I think they blend very well with the uh, half-timbered stuff. So, um, let's also, uh, but, but I also made these windows here uh, or I had the carpenter make those windows and I want to see what those look like. So let's put this windowed wall in there and then we need to go up to here and we need to carve out these pieces here so we can do a triple window and then... We'll put that in, and that in, and that in. Okay, so... So we've got that, or we've got this. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. I, I, think, I think these look better. They, they just blend. They're the same color, you know. Um, and these are... These are nice, but... They don't quite fit. Maybe what we could do is possibly use these up in the in the tower when we build it instead. So yeah, I think I like the simpler windows better. I can do it. And um hey. So yeah, let's go here and we want these guys. We'll make three of those for now just to finish this side of the house. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, so that's pretty much what the walls are going to look like on the exterior. Um, while we're at it here, let's see if we can do something different with this. So... All right. Uh, whoops. Let's get down to four meter and over to here. All right. What is this? I want to hold this out. Oh, no, not that far. Okay. Did that give us the border? No. So it needs to be held out one notch this way? Nope. Even further. See, the thing is, is if I hold it out that way, then... Well, even that doesn't give us our border in here. Oh. Nope. Okay, well, for whatever reason, it's not cooperating now. But, I mean, this half-timbered floor business, it just barely looks a little bit better than this. But again, I don't like these crooked blocks that they have. So let's remove that. What if we... What if we go to the refined wood block for the outside? Yeah, I like 
I like that better. I think that works okay for the outside sidewalk. The question though is, can we make this pop out one? Yeah, that is just not cooperating with me anymore. I don't know why. So, it's just going to have to go in. What happens if we do that? No. It'd be really nice if there was a way that we could tell the game to use the borders and pick, you know, which side we want the border to be on. That would be cool. And I'll bet you, once we remove all of these and put those in their place, that removed the border from in here. Which is fine. I mean, if that's the way it's got to be, that's the way it's got to be. Okay, why do I have a baseboard all along here except for in this spot? Oh, because that wall's too low. That's why. All right. Let's put it back in and have it go the right way. Or have it at the right height. Oh, it's doing it again. That is just weird, man. It almost looks like a different type of wood. All right, we need to switch to here. I'm holding that out too far. But see, now it's work doing the border thing. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah, this one here. Remove that. And then... See, I'm getting it to work now. And I kind of like this little sill along here, too. It just, like I said, it adds a little more character to things. All right, remove that. Put this there. See, it's not working there, though, now. Hold on. Undo all of that. Remove. Does it have something to do with this stone block being there, maybe? I bet you it does. Or maybe it has something to do with my bed being there. That wall is... Not, oh, maybe that's what the problem was. That wall is, wasn't um, set correctly. Let's go back to here. And why is this there? And this is also not set correctly. Remove that. Remove that. Remove that. Remove that. And this. I I'm going to redo all this stone out here anyway. Okay. Now, go back to here. Go to half-timbered. That is the... Proper position for that wall. Right? I think so. And then let's also do the corner. So that looks correct out here. So now if we go back to here and remove that and then put this in. Here. 
here. It still doesn't want to do the sill. What does it look like over here? Hold on. So why does it do it here, but not anywhere else? It's just, it, the thing that irritates me the most about it is that, that it's inconsistent, right? Um, okay, take that out. And do that. What? Nope, nope, nope. Something's off. Slide that in. There. I mean, I don't mind having the the border doohickey on the outside either. That's not... That's okay. It just slid everything in, but at least it looks nice in here now. You know, having this little sill at the bottom of the half-timbered pieces makes it look... You know, adds, adds a little bit more character to it anyway. So I think that's what we'll do, and then, you know, I'm going to redo all this rail railing and stuff, too, and we'll just suck it in uh, by one square when the time comes. But this looks good. I, I like this. I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it. Okay, so you guys basically see what I'm going to do for the exterior walls all the way around the house, so I'll do the rest of that off camera. Um, let's look at a couple other things, though. We should have some tar in here now. Oi! Oh, yeah, we got a shit ton of tar in here now. Okay. I want to try... I want to do a double door look. Here to look at my craft. And... Okay, so we need nails. We just need to make two of... Right, okay. And, you know, th this isn't going to be the final build either as we continue to learn new blocks will continue to upgrade as time goes on or either that or maybe we'll build another base no reason not to um so we'll just kind of play all that by ear let's just make that many nails okay got my hands full but what do you need i need another one of these and then let's pick this up. And then I want you to make me a double door. You need my help. Hey. Excellent. Okay. Now we're gonna need to go here. Uh nope. And then up to here, and then we're going to have to take that out. Like so. And then we should be able to put you. Oh, wow. Those are, those are higher. Wait. Did I have that other door buried down too far? I think I did. Or, well, no, these do look higher. I think these are higher than the other door was. Maybe, I don't know. All right, well, then, then what we're going to need to do is...
Okay, why can't I... Pick that back up. I think we're going to need to go another one, too. Yeah. Okay. Hold that in too far. I think I did. Right. Yeah. Okay. That should be good there. Okay. That's okay. <coughs> um, I don't know that I'm going to do this, though, on all three sides. Maybe we'll just do it. We'll, like I said, we'll call this our main entrance. Unless, I mean, the road's kind of this way, so it doesn't really matter. I, what's going on in my brain right now is I'm not 100% convinced that I like these double doors. Uh, I mean, I like them, but I think part of the problem here is that we got, you know, this, I got to get all of this stuff out of here because it's blocking the nice stone um, framing of the door, right? Let's do this. Let's go back to you again. Got my hands full, but what do you need? I want you to make me another Give single me. door. Measure. Okay, let's put this back over on this side. Oh, yeah, those double doors are way bigger than these. Uh, I mean, in terms of height, too. Do I need to carve out another block's worth to get that sill, you know, or the wood stone frame to show like I want it to? Let's go to two meter blocks and let's check, uh, select you. Um, now, can I? No, that's not going to let me do that, is it? All right, we're going to have to go back to here. I just like the way this fits better, you know? I guess, okay, I guess the sill is exactly the same. It's just that this one is so much bigger that it doesn't look proportionate um, compared to that door. That's probably what's throwing me off. But yeah, look, we can, we'll leave this as the double door. That'll, that'll be fine. Um... But I'm not necessarily going to do that for the other sides. Definitely not going to do it over here because of the bathroom. I'm thinking. It is really starting to look a lot nicer in here, though. I mean, there's a ton more to do. Okay, now, I had another thought. And that is... Do we want to possibly use the... Other wood texture, yeah, the refined wood texture for these internal walls. Let's just play with that for a second here. All right, get rid of that. Uh, 
there's there's a part of me that really likes just this openness, you know, open area. But not necessarily all of me. <laughs> So yeah, let's um all right, let's it's getting dark again. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so if we let's go to two meters and go to these walls here. Um those yeah, those were lined wait, what? Those should be lined up right on the these stone poles here. No, I didn't quite get that. I think that's where I want it. Right, okay, and then we'll put... That one should go there. And then if we go to four meter and put that there and then go to here and put you in there, flip you around. Okay, we got to sleep because it's dark. Okay, I completely misplaced this whole thing. Go back to two meters, grab this, stick it right there. Uh, nope. Still not quite right. Let's just use that as a guide for, and put that one there. There. That's lined up properly. Okay. Now, go to four meter. Put the doorway in. Hmm. Why does it do that? That's not sticking out, is it? No. I almost wonder if I should clip this into the flintstone there so we don't have that kind of jank looking wood seam there. Um, yeah, let's um, let's look at that for a second. Go back to here, two meter. No, that's the same. Okay, yeah, no, that's okay. So that glitches. No, nah, it still does it anyway. I guess it doesn't matter then. I guess it doesn't matter. That's going to show up no matter what. If we decide to even use this at all, which I haven't decided for sure yet. Let's go back down to four meter, put these pieces back in. Okay. I mean, that doesn't look terrible. But I was just, you know, I was just thinking about doing something a little bit different on the interior. How in the... Jeez, these walls are so easy to get screwed up. All right, I'll fix that later. Um. Okay, there's that. Now let's do the same thing, but we'll, we'll just continue using the timbered stuff. 
So let's get all of this out of here. And then we want to go back to Timbered. And we want two meter. there you who you who yourself that goes there go to the doorway that's got to hold over to that side and then we'll go to these pieces oh god damn it I did it again Oh, you know what? Those chests are, cause this sh this is lined up flush with the po with the post. Yes, it is. That's glitching into those chests as well. So I didn't even have that wall set correctly at all to begin with. Uh, these are empty, so we might as well pick them up. And I'll have to fix that business later, because this is where that wall needs to go. It, You know, the one thing I'm finding about this game is it is really easy to make alignment mistakes. Um, I mean, I know we could turn snapping on, but then that... And in this particular case, that might be a good idea, but sometimes having snapping on can cause its own problems, you know? Okay, so nothing's sticking out over there. And then let's go back to 4 meter. Flip that around. There. Okay, so... Um, we need more light in here, and I will be... Definitely will be setting up lights. I think we just stick with the the half timber. It just looks so much better. This could work, but it's pretty plain Jane, you know, compared to this. And especially once we get the the roof part on, things will contrast a little bit nicer, I think. So yeah, that that's just kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, so let me, um, let's put that back there. Don't really think. One thing I could do is. Well, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, so. Let's, let's set this up here with. With, um. The half timbered stuff too. Yeah, I think I uh, definitely like this better. Okay, now we are unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we are not going to get to the tower in this episode. We're already way past. But what I want to do before I let you guys go, um, and then I'll finish up the rest of the house all the way around, is figure out what we're going to do for the roof. And I have there's two possibilities. Okay, we can either do this, which is kind of what I had in mind. You know, your typical clay tile roof. That doesn't look terrible. We should play with that and just see what it looks like. But I also like this stone shingle look as well. Okay, so let's make... Well, I guess that's all we're making of those. I should have a whole mess of... Excuse me. Of bricks in here. So let's grab those out. So. Okay, we'll make a bunch of those. And then what are we short on? We're short on flintstone here. Do I have enough though? I gotta put some of this stuff away. Let's put all the square blocks away for now. Um now if we go here and we go to roof pieces. Yeah, we're only gonna be able to make one of those. Alright, I'm gonna cut the camera and go mine up some more flints on the right back. Okay. So 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try out the Oh, uh, wait a second. What? Why is that showing? Oh, never mind. I see what's going on there. Okay. So let's start with the corner piece here. And no, I want to get rid of. Wait, what? Hold on. I want to get rid of that. And we actually do need to get rid of that too because. I didn't have that wall in there correctly. Let's fix that first, just so the corner, you know, looks right. I think, I think I'm going to remove this stone lining too. I might replace it with a nicer stone or I might not replace it at all. Okay, so let's go back to here and down to here. And then this needs to go in right there. Okay, let's, while we're at it, remove all of this stuff. Back to roof pieces, and we are on the corner. And I think we want that to go there. That looks right. Okay, now. That goes there. Oh man, the undo is so nice in this. They just really knocked it out of the ballpark with the building in this game. Uh, yep, that's correct. Oh, that I remember this corner. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rebuild this entire chimney business here um yeah let's just take that down plus we can potentially use nicer um stone when we do that there we go that's what we want to do okay so we fix that now uh for this That looks really nice. I like that stone roof, but we still need to compare it with the the tiled roof. I'll, I'll worry about the chimney thing later. Um, yeah, I'll worry about the chimney thing later. So what I want to do is go back to you and make sure you're right on the corner and at the right height. And likewise, same thing here. No. Got to hold it in. There. Okay, good. So that looks good out here. Now, let's go ahead and let's sleep. The thing that's so fun about this is that it's just there's all kinds of different things you can do. It's like you'll never get bored of building in this game, man. So neat. And, you know, we haven't discovered everything yet either in terms of building materials. Close that door. Okay, so we're going to go down to roof. We're going to choose the tile block this time. And I want to go to the corner. Flip that around here. See, that? this is why I wanted to fix the corner, so... That would all, uh, wait a minute. Why is that high? Huh. 
Oh my god, what? Now what? Did I? No, I didn't get off on the... Oh, wait a minute. No, that ridge is correct. Hmm. All right, let's try and let's try and set it from up here. Uh, no, it doesn't like that. It's like these corner walls that I put in are too damn high. Except for that they're not. They match those walls. Hmm. All right, let's let's do it this way then. I wanted to get the corner in first, just you know, just to make sure everything is lined up exactly the way it should be. But for whatever reason, that's not quite working out for me here. And okay, now let's go to the corner piece. There we go. Okay. I guess it's just the way that these are built. Because it, it looks like the stone roof is further out, but I don't think it is. Because if we go up here, this ridge is correct. It, it's lined up correctly. Okay. So now that we know that, the question is, which one do we like better? I have to say that I think the clay tiles look better. I, I think they work better with the coloring of the half-timbered. Yeah, I, I, I think I like the half-timbered better. I mean, the I'm sorry, the clay. Uh, we were going to try the black ones, though. The tarred ones. Okay, let's just make a few of those. Boop. And if we go back to here, and we go to the tarred roof... See that? Whoops. That comes with a whole different... Um, even everything. Ooh, you know what? That doesn't look bad, actually. I think, you know, color-wise... That doesn't look bad either. I, I think it looks better than the stone shingle. I'm just not sure if it looks better than the clay, the red clay. I do like the this though. Um, what's the corner piece look like? Let's um, let's look at that real quick. Yeah, like that. Okay, so. Honestly, either one of these could work. I still think, though, as much as I like that tar, uh, tarred roof, I still think I like the red brick the most. Because it, it just, it adds a little more color to everything. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the the red clay brick. But here again, this is this isn't bad though. This looks actually really nice. Um, two, it, it could work. It could work very well, but um, I'm liking this better. Before, uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep going. 
in the we're, I'm probably just going to have to make this like a two-part episode. Um because I really want to Oh yeah, see that's another thing too. Look at I like the way the interior ceiling looks on the clay stuff a little bit better than this. Cuz that almost looks like there's some tar or something that kind of leaked through one of the seams, which is kind of neat in terms of just the character of it. But this is just a, you know, just a tad bit cleaner looking. So that's another point in favor of going with the clay roof, the clay tiled roof. It's neat that it has like little, is, is that moss or just, oh, those are leaves. <laughs> nice. That's just so cool. I like, the, I like what they've done with this. I really do. Okay. So yeah, I'm probably going to just have to split this up into two episodes because I really want to get the tower at least started um, because that was a major goal of what we were going to do. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and, I want to get the invert, inverted piece and go to here. Okay, take that out. And why won't you... Let me put you in there. I don't know. Okay. Actually, here. Let me let me change everything over on this side to the clay tiles first. All right, guys. One one spot that I'm finding this uh, you know the hard snapping, I guess you call it, uh, really useful is with the roof because it just you know kind of puts everything right in the right spot. Uh, I've run into something kind of weird, though. We, You know, it leaves these little grass pieces there. I think it has something to do with these pillars, actually. Um, if we take those back off and go to here, you get those pillars. I've removed all of the stone trim around the whole house. Uh, for now, uh, we'll, we'll probably play around with maybe putting some of that back after we get the... Yeah, see, if we leave that stuff in there, it messes things up with, with the roof piece there. And then flip that that way. But yeah, having just the normal snapping on... I, for me, anyways, you know, for the roof pieces here is um, makes it a lot easier because otherwise it's real easy to accidentally, you know, put it in the wrong place, that kind of thing. All right, we just about had enough to finish it. Well, we I still have to do the the other side too. All right, let's make some more of these. That's all, as many as we can make for the moment. Yeah, I got to do this inside part too. All right, so put that there, that there, and that there. Excellent. Okay, so that takes care of the outside portion of the roof. Now we just got to do these inside portions. Okay, so I'm going to have to go. Well, actually, do I have more clay? Maybe I do. Uh, I got a little bit more clay. Okay, so let's grab what we have. And I'm going to split these in half. And we'll make some more bricks. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get this done, get the roof completely finished, and then I'll bring you back uh, when we start building the tower, um, which actually means I'm going to be pulling some of those roof pieces back up, but... I want to have it all in place first before I start so I can kind of see how it's all going to come together. All right, guys, I am back. Um, it's actually the next day in real life for me. Um, and I just spent uh, quite a bit of time off camera 
getting uh, the building all the way done, except for the last part, which will be the the second floor that we're going to build there on the on the well, I guess on the east end. Uh, so a couple things I want to just kind of go over with you. Um, the so what I did is I changed the outside boardwalk to to the refined wood. I changed the fence that previously was the rough stone with some wood, uh, you know, the rough wood blocks uh, to flint stone. And then added the pillars. I think these are the city wall block pillars, I believe, uh, that I added in there. Um, so that looks really nice. I I almost literally tore this entire place. Well, not the entire place, but I tore a lot of stuff out and, and redid it. Um, and I've come to really appreciate the, um, the snapping, um, you know, the X key. Because the problem that I ran into is that when I originally built this place, I didn't always have that on and stuff just wasn't quite lined up in, in several different places and it was driving me nuts. Um, so I ended up, you know, tearing out a lot of the walls, a lot of the floor, resetting them correctly with snapping on so everything aligned up correctly. Um, and it's, it's a much, you know, much more solid situation now. Uh, as you can see, I added the flintstone um, columns to each corner of the house and as well as at the doors i messed around a little bit with doing a cross piece at the top but the problem that i ran into was that it was it, it hung down too far and didn't you know look proportionate uh you know the windows didn't look proportionate on top and bottom in terms of the distance and i ultimately just decided that i didn't like it so i i tore that back out uh i haven't done anything with the chimney in here yet I'll, I'll worry about that later i'm not going to try and do that in this episode uh but i did want to show you a couple of things for you know for you know to some things that i did to make this work so particularly um you know with the uh, pillars here if i found that if the timbered walls were already in place and then i tried to put the pillar in it didn't work um it, it just it, well here let me just let me just show you so let's um Let's remove the walls and what, why is that? Okay. And then remove the pillars. Okay. So if the, if the walls are already in place, let me get those lined up. Okay. So if they're already in place and then I would come along and try and put the flintstone blocks in. This needs to be two meter. Like that. See, it doesn't work. It wouldn't, it wouldn't let me do it. So what I had to do, and this is, you know, some of you probably already know this, of course, but for anybody that may not, because uh, I'm still learning how the building works in this game too, and I'm just loving it too, by the way. Uh, but so, so basically if you want to do something like this, at least with these timbered walls, I don't know if it works with other types of walls, you got to put the stone pillar in first and then you can go back and put the, uh, the wall pieces in and it all comes together. So there. All right. So, so that worked out. I, I really like the way this is looking. It's, it's the same exact house, you know, in terms of the design of the structure, but just upgraded with much, much nicer materials. Now, you might be wondering, and this is one of the things I want to show you how I did this. Um, those torches are actually embedded quite a ways down into the pillars. Because, um, you know, this is what they actually look like. They're they're set on a three-block high wood column there, but these are actually four-block high columns. So the way that I did that, and... Um, you know, one of the, and, and one of the things, too, that I really like about this game is the fact that it we don't have to futz around with SI, with structural integrity, right? It just makes building so much easier and allows us to do so many more things. Because what that means, then, of course, is I can remove that pillar from underneath this torch, but the torch itself stays in place. And then what I did is I just took, um, let's see, we want to go to... Yeah, city wall block there, and then 
we want it, the two meter. And then if I pop that in place, it just, this the torch stays embedded in it. And I just really like the way that it looks because it kind of removes the, um, you know, the, the little tripod thing on the bottom of the torch and also keeps the torch at the same level. Uh, so yeah, that worked out pretty good. And then uh, I used Flintstone pieces here to, to finish this end. And this can be a little bit tricky, or at least it was for me. Uh, let's go back to the Flintstone, or rough Flintstone. And then we want to go to the four meter door frame and then turn it this way. So I can't get this to connect. Well, actually, you know what? <clears throat> I take that back. I can get it to connect one block up if I turn snapping off. Because and the reason why that matters is because I was originally, you know, gonna set them up as rails like they were initially. But I decided not to do that because it puts this kind of little uh oh i guess we missed a spot there it puts this little kind of flange thing on the bottom and it just doesn't look good to me um as as a rail uh so i so i decided well all right in that case i'm just going to um i'm just going to make it an actual wall um so to do that all you have to do is just put two of these down um oh and i'm gonna i'm gonna put snapping back on too at least for the bottom part and then you just kind of butt it up against there and the snapping will make sure that the distance is where it needs to be but if you do like i was saying if you do want to raise a block up off the ground and have air underneath it you have to take the snapping off at least that's the way i was able to get it to work okay so let's flip this around here and then we'll just put that there and that there and we're good to go so yeah just like i said really loving the look of things around here um it just it makes the place look so much nicer uh, with these better materials and then you know i'm still I'm still in the beginning of this game, at least in terms of territory that we've uncovered. I mean, I know there's there's a lot more stuff for us to uncover, you know, way off to the east and maybe even to the north. Um, I've heard that parts of this map are still locked um, and that they'll be expanded on in the future. Uh, but, you know, we've still, we're not very far into the game in terms of, you know, discovering new blocks and that kind of thing, even though we're already on, what, episode 23 or whatever it is, <laughs> 22, 23. Uh, which is cool because there's a lot more content to come. But even, you know, just with these, I guess, second or maybe third level uh, materials, it just looks so much nicer. So I'm very happy uh, with how it comes together. Um, these little planters are cool because they kind of they kind of look like almost like little flower beds, if you will, um, outside the house. And so I'll probably do another row along here, too. Not probably not across the whole entire you know perimeter of the house, but at least in another row because as time goes on, you know we're gonna need more and more stuff, particularly like flax and things like that. On the inside of the house here, um, I decided you know not to go with the small doorways, but keep it more open. But I did add, um, I did add like these little uh, corner blocks in here to give it sort of kind of an arch type feel. Um, there's no way that I know of to actually make an arch. It's all still kind of square and blocky, but uh, I think it looks good though. I, I tried to put even an, another row down, but I thought it was, I thought it was too much. So we're, we're going to be, um, less is more kind of, kind of thing. Um, all right. So, uh, time now to work on our second floor. So. What I'm going to do is let's remove the roof here. Okay, so it'll, it's going to be this section that's going to be the second second floor. And that is then in turn going to become my bedroom and also I'm going to put the bathroom upstairs too because I just... 
I didn't like the ba the bathroom was here originally, <clears throat> but it kind of screwed up the the overall design and aesthetic of the ground floor because, you know, th this whole build is <clears throat> excuse me, this whole build is. Uh, symmetrical is the word I'm after. And, and that's the way that I want it to be. So it just was kind of weird to have all of a sudden this weird box room here, here, but nowhere else, you know, in the build. So that's why I've decided to move the bathroom upstairs. Currently, I have all the pieces just sitting in my temporary bedroom. So, you know, we still get all the rest and buff and that sort of thing. Okay, so um, what we're going to do here is... I think we just want to remove those but we want to keep the roof pieces in place Ooh, see that doesn't that's not lining up exactly right okay well we'll worry about that in a bit if it if we indeed need to worry about it at all um okay so now obviously the the outside portions a no-brainer um, we just need to Go to our four meter walls, make sure we're on half timbered block. And we're just gonna do a whole nother wall like this. I'll put, you know, I'll do some windows and stuff there too, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Um, okay, and then this, we should be able to, yeah, we should be able to just put that there and we'll do the same thing on this side okay um, I'm gonna look at something does that yeah it's a little bit off here just because the corner or, or the the roof pieces Can I remove this and reset it? Yeah, I don't know. I think... Let's go look over here for a second. I think that's probably just... Yeah, see th this... See how we got kind of like the little stair step thing going here? I think that's going to happen just because that's the way the corner piece itself lines up. So we're, we're not going to worry about that. That's just the way it's going to be. Okay. Now, um, uh, let's put the ceiling in next. And I want to, I want to go back to here. And then we'll go here. The thing is, though, is I'm not sure if I'm going to use... ...these blocks for the ceiling or not. It looks like we're out of resources. All right, let me sleep, too, and make it daytime.
Okay. It's daytime. Uh, what do we need to make some more half timbered blocks? Oh man, we're out of clay again. Okay. Let's get up here. Um, I mean, I don't mind this floor. I just don't like the crooked boards, you know, in it. But... See, that's what the ceiling looks like underneath. I'm almost thinking maybe we should make the floor out of the refined wood instead. Because I've, I've got the glare from the the light, but I've got to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of that look either. It's just kind of dirty looking, you know? Um, so why don't we change to refined wood instead? I'll worry about this, the stairs and all that later. Okay, so now how does this look? Oh uh, yeah, see that looks that looks better as a ceiling. Uh, it's too bad we couldn't get that you know look for the ceiling, but I don't know how I would do that because I could use the flat clay tiles, but then that's gonna be my floor on the uh, you know on the second floor, which will look kind of jank. This is definitely better than what it was before. Okay, and then I think all we have to do here, I'm going to probably run out of resources, but let's go back to here and then go to here. Um, uh, okay, I was thinking about a balcony. You know, that kind of overlooks the courtyard. But if we're going to do that, we're going to have to use the same material here. And I'm probably going to have to clip it in like this. I, You know what? If we're going to do that, this, which I want to... If I turn snapping off, yeah, see, I can push it back in even more. Maybe something like that. No, let's let's have it hang out a little more than that. Yeah, I like that idea. Now, the other question is, can I also make a little... I, how could... It'd be cool if we could angle this. Is there any way to do that? Um, see, these pieces... You can't lay these flat, so I don't know if this game gives us really any options for a triangular thing, you know? Um... What is the two meter? Yeah, see, that's going to want to use the roof material, though. All right, well, I think because it, it's not apparent to me anyways that we have any way to use a triangular option. I think what we do here is we'll just extend this out to there. I want to see what's it looking like down here. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. I think that'll be okay. Well, I have to devise some kind of a rail system. So if I go, if I go up to here, and what if we try this? We'll have a, we'll 
have a wall there. Hmm. Okay, so if we if we do this. I know I could have used the the longer horizontal piece too, but let's just do it this way. But yeah, we, we just don't have really good options, at least not yet. Maybe things will become available later on, but we don't seem to have really good options for railing in this game. So that's probably going to be our best bet for now. Let's look at something, though. Um, do you have... To look at my craft. Hey. Oh, let's see. Miscellaneous. Doors, windows, cupboards, shelves, dishes. Ladders, secret doors. Sliders, beds, tables, fireplaces, chairs, benches. Benches. No. I thought I saw some kind of a railing somewhere with one of these guys. Was it the blacksmith that had that? Hey! Let's fix that up. This is fences. A copper fence. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Let's um Let's make one of those and just see what it looks like. You got a heart of steel, kid. <laughs> um, let's put snapping on. This could actually work. Yeah, me likey. Okay. All right, I'm going to remove all of this. this rail back up for a second now I want to go before we do that I want to go to here and let's put that wall in and that wall in and then what we'll do is okay so it snaps right there so we're going to need two, three, four, five. I think we're going to need five more. Really? Right now? I'm going to have to go mine some more I copper up. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. You know what we could do too is um hang one of the the heads on the edge of that too. <laughs> uh I've never even messed with that. How do we do that? I gotta fix this here. Let's grab the VUCA head. Is that something that you that we craft with hey, you? Decorations, ladders, shelves, cover, miscellaneous. Okay, not there. Do we do it in here? Thought I saw that somewhere. Storage, beds, chairs, benches, doors. Hmm. Was it you? Wall decorations. There we go. Okay. Uh, here, let me 
get I, I'm not sure that I got that right in the center so get on top of this oh I can't stand on okay then here let's approach it from back here there I don't is that in the middle I don't think so I think it's yeah it's too far to the right yeah let's try this again See, with snapping on, though, it's not its not lining up. So we're going to have to do this without snapping. So turn snapping off. And then we'll just kind of eyeball it. See, the thing is, I'm not directly in the center either. That looks pretty close. All right. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's kind of... It's pretty badass looking, but it might be a bit much. Let's just leave it there for now. Then we'll... <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have to think about that. Whoops. Okay, there we go. All right. Now... This is cool. Now, why don't we also... There's not a lot of room in here, first of all. Because remember, we need to do both of the bedroom and the bathroom. But, why don't we also expand out this way, too. I really wish there was a way to do curves or at least triangles um but if we you see we can only rotate these vertically there's I, I don't see any way to make that go flat okay yeah um so let's go to ceilings here and switch to just trying to th what if we made that stone eh, probably not Well, let's just let's just make it out of wood for now. And I think here I don't know if I want to go all the way out. Oh, you know what? Let's get snapping back on so I don't screw something up. You know, this could work, actually, if we put supports in for it. And it'll give us a lot more floor space. All right, so here, let's do this. We'll go to here. These are going to have to go, but I have another idea for these. All right, and then I think also... We're going to have to temporarily remove these. Okay, let's switch to... Probably Flintstone for this. So now the question is, do I also make 
these flintstone or do I make these just to be consistent with all the other pillars that we have down here? I'm thinking Flintstone. Okay. Now let's put the uh, these guys back in. Button up against this. Same thing here. It's a little weird that the pillar is not going all the way down to the ground there. I think the only way I can fix... You know what? No, that's fine. That's fine. It's all flintstone, so it doesn't matter. Even if I did fill this in with individual blocks, it's still ultimately going to look like this. So, yeah, it's good. That's the way it needs to be. Okay, cool. All right, now... I think we just fill this in, except for I'm going to need to go... Oh. That's weird, man. Um, Because this is all one block, right? I don't like that. I don't... There, hmm. I don't know what I can do about it unless I put another wall here, but then we're making this even narrower than it already is. It's kind of weird, too, what it's doing here. I just now noticed that. Might have something to do with the flintstone pillars there. Okay, let's pick those back up for a second and go to refined wood block. Snapping is on. Probably what I'm going to have to do to fix that is remove these walls and then put them back in. Well, here, let's just test it on one first before we commit to the whole thing. Nope, that didn't that didn't remove it either. Okay, what about if we also take the this way? Now what's it look like? Still there. What if we pick this up and replace it? It's still there. All right, you know what? Screw it. I, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. It'll be okay. Uh, okay, let's go back to Flintstone. Put these back in place. And then back to half-timbered block. Yeah, there's just going to be a seam there, because um, I'm not, I don't know what else to do about it. The only, I guess the only other thing I could do is completely tear this entire wall out, lay the ceiling pieces, and then put those down again.
All right, let's try it. That we should be able to keep the door there. Nope. Okay, now let's switch to here. And go back to refined wood block. Let's let's also remove these two. Okay, now let's reset them. Out of wood. Oi! Refined the wood block. Get okay, a few more of those. That's what we're on. Okay. Now let's see what it looks like. That did it. Okay. But the question is, once we put the walls back in place, is it gonna is it gonna come back? And if it does, then that then then I can't do anything about it, uh, or at least I don't know what I could do about it. And we're just gonna have to live with it. Okay, so you go there, you go there. to half timbered block four meter and walls and this is a door okay let's see what it did it's not back okay cool very good that fixed that issue it's just you know you gotta kinda putts around with it a little bit until it does what you want it to do. All right, I'm going to need to go mine up some clay because I don't have enough to finish our half-timbered blocks. Um, yeah, I only have 254, so I will be back uh, after I get some more clay. All right, guys, we are back and uh, went out and got some clay, and it is now the next morning, so we're kind of waiting for the sun to come up over the hill but hopefully we can see okay um all right so we want to go back to here and i think why don't we do this let's make this a little side window and that a little side window <clears throat> and then we will Put that in place there, and then let's turn this into a normal wall, like so. I think what I want to do here is... I was, I was going to keep this open. So maybe what we do is... Let's go to the two meters. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the door frame piece here uh, why don't we yeah yeah there we go I like that and we could even go 
go to here and do this little ornamental-ish looking thing too. All right, nice. <clears throat> okay, so now I want this to be a big window. Oh, hold on. It went a little too high there. Yeah, like that. That's good. Okay, and then... Let's finish out the roof here. So I think what we want to do... There's a couple things we could do. We could do a pyramid style roof or just your standard <clears throat> um you know just you know angled angled roof. Let's play around with the pyramid style first and just see what that might look like. So we need some more of these blocks. Uh, no, actually we don't. We need to make some... Oh, no, actually I got quite a few there. Okay. I don't know if that'll be enough. So the idea here is to go down to roofs and, yeah, and then get to the corner piece. Let me do this from the inside so it's I know it's lined up on each end. Oh yeah, you know what? You know what we could do is we could make like a little uh tower coming off the center of that. I I actually had that kind of in my mind, but I completely for forgot that I had that in my mind. Yeah, I like that idea. Um, the question then, though, becomes do we make it... What do we make the tower out of? Do we keep using the half-timbered blocks, or do we do the tower out of stone? That's looking pretty cool, though. I'm I, I'm trying to visualize in my brain here what a stone tower might look like. I don't. Okay, no, I don't think I'm going to make it out of stone. But what we could do is we could we could do the corners out of out of stone okay so let's um go back to here and go to four meter and you know what no I, w I want the refined wood ow that hurt I want the refined wood for this Yoo-hoo. Is there a way to salvage this stuff? There isn't. Oh, that's too bad. It's too bad you can't salvage that back into just raw wood. Maybe that's something they'll add to the game in the future. All right, we're looking for this refined wood block. I might end up just throwing all that stuff away. It's not likely I'll, I'll use it again in this playthrough. Okay, yeah, so... All right, let's go here, remove that. Choose the refined wood option. Good. Now... This, this tower might end up being... Uh, and probably it will almost certainly end up just being a decorative thing that we won't actually go up into. Um, because otherwise, if, if we were going to go up into it, that means I would have to hang a ladder down. 
and that'll be kind of right in the middle of our room down below, which might look weird. But let's let's not worry about that right now. We might be able to come up with a solution for that too. I mean, if nothing else, we can always come up into it via the roof itself. Um. Okay. Probably I'm gonna want to go to. Flintstone for this, but let's try the city blocks first. I need to kind of get a sense for how high I want that to be. Maybe one... Pillar higher, maybe. Hmm. Let's go with one pillar higher for now. Okay. Then what we want to do is go to here and go to here. Now, you know what? Um, let's not do that. Let's just go this high. We could, and what I could do too is I could put a light in here, like uh, one of those uh, braziers. In fact, yeah, that's a cool idea. Um, are you the one that makes those? Craft. Let me craft you something. You are. Hey! Polished scrap brazier. Yeah, what the hell? Let's go with that one. Does this just automatically light or do we have to put fuel in it? Oh, nice. Okay. I like that. That thing's cool looking. Okay. okay. Take that down. So it'll almost be like a lighthouse, you know? Um, can I snap this? Yep. Smack dab in the center. Oh, that's going to look cool at night, you guys. It's going to look really cool at night. Um, okay, so now... I think what we want to do is go to two meter roof pieces and go to here. Oh, I need to make more bricks. Excellent. Now let's put, uh, we'll go back to here, back to, oh, we're already on half timbered. And we'll just put that wall back in place. Now the only thing that's missing is a weather vane <laughs> or a flag or something to put up there. Oh man, that is awesome looking though. I love it. Oh, wait a minute though. I don't think the brazier is centered. It isn't. Damn it. It's centered this way, but not the other direction. So if... What about there? Yeah, okay, that's centered. Yeah, I just didn't push it back far enough is all. Okay, cool. Um, is there anything that 
we could put up on top to use like as a weather vane. I'm just trying to think of what options we have. Let's look at your stuff. Look what I have to offer. Look what I have to offer. Miscellaneous. Hey. Snow, doors, windows, the oh. I wanna put I think I wanna put these windows in the tower. And I should have some of those already made. Not there. I have some overflow in here. Yeah, I've got three of those. I think we want five for the bedroom. I'm I'm thinking though we should leave the, the tower windows open. Just so the light shines through it better, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna leave those open. Let's make two more of these windows. You need my help. Okay. So that gives us a total of five of those. Oh. I got sidetracked. I <laughs> it's funny, I've I've come built this second floor here and I without any access to it. We'll fix that in a second. Um, okay. Put these here. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Okay, I was just, I, I, I've got all kinds of things just firing off in my brain right now. Okay, what if we do this? What if we do that? What if we do this? Um, okay, so we were going to look for a weather vane. What would we, what could we possibly use to make a weather vane? All uh, right, glider grappling beds, illumination. I mean, we could put, I guess we could put a standing torch all the way on the top. I don't know. Would that be weird though? Because we already have the the brazier. All right. Let's look at you again. Well, look who's back. Tables, fireplaces, chairs. That's a cool looking chair. Five comfort. It's a throne. Nice. Yeah, we'll be making. You know, I'm I'm obviously not going to be doing. Well, I don't know if it's obvious or not, but I'm not going to do any interior design in this episode just because, ooh, that could work. Uh, you know, just because of our time. What is this? It's a standing firefly lamp. Um. Okay, let's let's do that. But I also want to see if you have any possibilities. Dishes, fences, crucible, kettles. Okay. Yeah, this is probably our best bet here. Hmm. I might need to... I mean, I know I could build a scaffolding, but what? let's see if we can utilize this ladder... Just to get up there temporarily. Um, we want it to be on this side. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, overshot it. There we go. Okay. Well, that's weird. Why is that only going three ways? It probably just had something to do with the order in which we set it down. Uh. Let's turn snapping off. There. I think that's right about in the center right there. It's 
No, it's not perfectly in the center. That's close enough, I think. I mean, I would prefer that that was a weather vane, because we already have the brazier inside, but... We don't have any weather vanes. I don't know, maybe, does the game... I wonder if the game actually has weather vanes later on that you can get. I'm also... I'm also wondering if I want to do something different with the windows. Well, no, I'm going to leave it that way for now. That's something I can easily change later if it if it really bothers me. Okay, so we got to figure out an access to get up here. Um, so what makes the most sense? Maybe a stairwell coming up this way, I'm thinking. Let's get back into building mode. And turn the, these this way. Those are some ginormous stairs. Oh, go to two meter. Yeah, I was going to say, goodness gracious, those are big stairs. So if we put those there. I'm not entirely convinced I like the look of that. <laughs> um, I like the look of the treads. Let's um let's try some different material. What would it what would the Let's just try the refined wood block stairs. Yeah, that's that's just as jank, if not worse. Okay. What about Roughly cut stone block stairs. Doesn't fit the theme. It's like a different architecture altogether, so yeah, that's no good. Um, what about city wall block? Probably going to run into the same issue, but let's just see what it looks like. Hey. <sighs> that kind of doesn't fit the theme either, but it's not quite as gaudy as the other one, in my opinion. Um, let's look at brick stairs and flintstone stairs and maybe even rough stone block stairs and maybe shroud wood stairs. Pretty sure the tarred wood block's going to look weird, but let's grab that too, just, just for the hell of it. Okay, so this is fired brick stairs. Those would work by virtue of the fact that they match the brick floor. I don't necessarily like the way they look, though. But at least they wouldn't feel out of place, I don't think. So we'll keep those in mind. Um, let's try Flintstone stairs. See, now th these could work too, just because here again, they match the courtyard and we've used a lot of Flintstone in this build. And I think I even like those better than the, um, the brick stairs. I just wish they didn't have all this weird blocky crap on the end. It, it looks very clunky. Um, I 
Let's keep those up. I just want to take a quick look-see at rough stone block stairs. I mean, those actually aren't terrible either. Okay. Um, shroud wood block stairs. If they didn't look like there was mud all over the treads, I'd consider those. And what else did we have? We had the tarred wood. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, talk about looking dirty. Good Lord. Yeah, okay. All right, so um, I think we go with the Flintstone stairs. And that's probably as, hmm, is that as good a place as any to put it? Let's, um, let's get here. Is that enough head clearance? Now we're going to need to also Yeah. The only thing I don't like about this is that it kind of protrudes as you're, you know, into the balcony area. We can't put it over here because this is hanging out over the porch. So really, the only other option that we would have is have the stairs come up along this wall. But then that means it's... Um, it means it's going to cross over our openings there. So... Yeah, we might not we might not have much choice. I think that's probably our the best our best option there. It's too bad though we couldn't push it back a bit. I mean we certainly could, but in the real world, you gotta have a little bit of room to get up onto the first step there, you know. There is another possibility here. Let's try something. Let's go to here and remove that wall. Um, remove the stairs there. What if we started... Oh, no, we made those out of flintstone, right? Yeah. Uh, let me look at the rough stone block again one more time. Hmm. No, I think we'll go with Flintstone. What we could do now here is we could... just put a support pillar again this is all purely aesthetic it's not required by the game itself I wonder why that all turned out different up there do we have the same thing going on over here no I must have misplaced. Oh, I wonder if it's because I tore that. Yeah, it's because I tore that roof down. Uh, or the ceiling, I should say. 
Yeah, okay. So let's go back to here, go to here, and... Does that give us enough clearance? Yes, it does. Okay. And then this needs to just be two meter, and we'll fill this back in. Uh, we're using refined wood, right? Yeah. There. Oh, that is much better. Yes, indeed it is. Let's go... Uh, let's get our torch out. I am digging that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I am. Because now it doesn't cut into the pathway out to the balcony. Oh. What the hell happened there? Oh, right. We removed the floor from there. Um. Okay, so I think we fixed that by... Well, here. Let's see what this looks like at nighttime. I mean, we won't get the full lighting effect until... Uh, yeah, I gotta I gotta replace the lights here, which we'll probably use like a wall torch or something. That looks pretty neat, though, up in the tower. Doesn't suck. Okay, let's sleep. Actually, no, before we sleep, let's go back to you. I can do it. Uh, go to illumination. No, I think we want to go. Since you know we're using torches outside, we should stick with that. We just want to do a wall torch. So let's make. Let's actually try four of those. Turn snapping on. Yes. Is that on the... Oh, wow. That, that's pretty bright. Do we want to go there or do we want to go one higher? I think we want to go one higher. What do you guys think of that? As if you could answer me right now. I feel like... Okay, that's it. Let's get back to daytime. Okay, so I feel like we need something along the f the floor up here. Almost like another little balcony. Not not a really big one, but just a little one, something to kind of line that so it it just looks better. What I'm thinking is uh, maybe we use hmm. All right, let's go back up here for a second. 
I'll probably hang a, a big chandelier from from up there. Oh, right. I was going to fix this. Let's do that right now. Okay, so we want to go to refined wood and just over to here. What if we just reset this wall now? Why isn't that giving me the option to remove that wall? Oh, I guess that works too. Oh. Uh, that's a little bit of a jank issue. Oh, for Pete's sake. Can we... I don't know how I feel about that. We can't have those big boards sticking out for us to bonk our head on. That's not, uh, you know, OSHA's not going to appreciate that. So, I wonder if I should just put a wall in there. Let's go to two meter. And what is this here? No. Needs, yeah, it needs to go there. All right, you know what? If we're going to do that, which I think we are, why don't we just put a damn wall in there? Like that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, we could move the stairs out, but then, you know, this pillar here is perfectly lined up with this. Uh, well, oh, is it though? Well, the problem is it's, it's going to make this opening even smaller, which will be inconsistent with the rest of the house. So I think we're going to call this good, you guys. It's, it's, it's a little weird, but I think it'll work. Okay, we're going to do one last thing before I let you go. Um, we're going to go outside. And I just feel like we need to do something around the border of this area here. Um, I 
if I turn that like that. Oh, see, even that looks better already. All right, now let's flip it this way. Um, it's it's being a little bit weird. I might have to take snapping off. Actually, what if we do this? Let's go add a little corner piece. Like there and there. So we give it something to butt up against. Then we go back to here. Uh, it doesn't want to butt up against it, though. Okay, we're going to have to turn snapping off. We just, I just, like I've said before, you got to really be careful with snapping off because it's so easy to misalign things. I mean, even that just by itself makes that look so much better. But why don't we also then... See, now that that's in place, can we use snapping again? No, it just doesn't want to behave. Okay. So let's turn... Well, here. We might be able to use snapping here. No. All right, so do this. that out to there. Nope. Yep. Okay, flip this around. Can I use snapping now? This thing is just being a pain in the ass, man. Okay. No snapping. We want you to butt up against there. Yeah, okay. And you butt up against there, and you there, and then we should be able to just scooch you in there like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do, can we make like a potted plant idea? Miscellaneous hey. doors. That's cool. Wooden bucket. My pleasure. Uh, I doubt we'll, we would have that option here. Many bench of chairs, doors, windows, dishes, fences. Now, you don't have any decoration stuff at all. What do you have? Keep it brief. Dishes, fences. Okay, so let's make a few more of those. I'm going to have to go mine some more copper. But, uh-oh. I don't think that's working because I'm too low. One thing I have noticed about this game is... It does kind of matter where you are. Um, okay, snapping on? Yes, snapping's on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go mine up some more copper and we'll just put that as like a little fence around the edge of that and if I was, you know, if I had some um, potted plants we could put, you know, a couple potted plants up there for decoration 
But I think that's pretty much it, other than, you know, me getting the the rest of those rails in. Just want to fill these little spots in here. Yeah, that's good. All right, guys, I am back and I have, I think I'm finished <laughs> with the exterior of our house. So uh, what I did is I went out and mined um, a bunch more copper up and then smelted that down to make these copper rails up here. And I also chain or I added the half timbered block poles to the corners there. Uh, and I, I think that looks really actually pretty good uh, the way that that comes out. And yeah, so that just adds a lot of pizzazz to the to the front of the building. And incidentally, because of, you know, that's where the tower and whatnot is, I've decided that this is the front of the building and therefore moved the double doors over uh, to this side rather, you know, because earlier I had placed them over here. Uh, a couple other things real quick. I added some more illumination. Uh, so each door post has... Uh, two candles on each side all the way around and I also placed chandeliers uh, at the top of each entryway except for this one of course because um, you know the ceilings too low I placed a chandelier up here also uh, so we have some some light up there and there's more you know more lighting that that can be done but uh, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I haven't looked at the base. Oh, and I put torches out here in the courtyard, too, uh, on the, the pillars, as you can see. Um, it hasn't gotten dark yet since I did that, so I don't know exactly how, how well it's going to light the place up. But uh, it should definitely improve things quite a bit. So, yeah, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap up then this building sesh. It was a long one. But, um, you know, it just takes a long time to do this, especially... For me, because of the fact that I'm still trying to figure out how everything works in the game. And I did learn, you know, some nice, some good stuff, you know, throughout this. So next time, um, you know, I'll know a little bit more of what to do and what not to do and so forth. And I, I, I think I talked about a lot of that stuff uh, earlier. I've actually recorded this episode over the course of like two or three days in real life. Um, so, yeah. Um, so with that being said, uh, the next the plan for the next episode is to continue questing because that is kind of the main thing you do in this game in order to advance. Uh, we have one uh, we have one quest uh, on the books which we'll we'll go do, um, and then we'll just start talking to our NPCs again because uh, a few of them have more quests for us to do. But I didn't want to start those until I had kind of gotten caught up. Uh, so we'll, we'll work on that, and we will have another. Um, interior design sesh here fairly soon not in the next episode but maybe two or three episodes from now uh, where we will move all our stuff upstairs you know set up our our bathroom up here and you know just kind of do some further cool stuff to the house uh, the other thing too that i want to let you know is that i spent some time off camera doing a little bit of exploration and there are three potential spots that i'm considering for building um, at least an, another base, if not maybe even our main base uh, for the rest of the playthrough. There's a, there's three spots that I'm really digging, and I will show those three to you, um, you know, in, in an upcoming episode. Hey. So this, I mean, this is a pretty nice place. And oh, you know, one other thing I wanted to tell you too. Um, hey. I was thinking, especially since we don't have um a lot, a whole lot of room up here. I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is I'll dig out a basement. Um, and then what we could do in the basement is we could basically make that the the sleeping quarters of our NPCs. Because, you know, they need a place to sleep, too. Uh, and also put the bathroom down there. Uh, so that's that's another thing we could do in an upcoming, you know, uh, maybe interior design episode. So we'll just see how things go. Uh, so with that being said, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.